Alex, what do you think of your tank? I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait to spread the shit now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got a, a new Diller tank for uh, Alex's truck. This is the last thing to complete her winter build. It's 4,500 gallons. Another Diller. But mine was really old. We couldn't fix it anymore. Yeah, hers is that one. We've been waiting for this for a, a while. We ordered it before New Year's. Before price of steel went up and the tanks went up. It's 4,500. That one's 4,250. And this one is going to replace the middle tank here. This one's been junk for years. We just never scrapped it. That one we're going to cut off the boom section and then scrap that tank. That one's really thin. We've been welding on it every year. We're just sick of it. It's too thin. And this is going to go on Alex's truck. We're gonna wash the salt off. Oh, it has those two, but on the other side. Yeah, they got one fender off from the other side. She's inspecting her tank. Look at the joy. I, well, I wish I could get that much love. Because <laughs> I don't get that much love. She's given more love to a shit tank than her husband. Yeah, it's true. Alright, I'll bring you some. to back it up a little so that don't hit yeah we got back up like a foot at least yeah get the fender off yeah just a foot so you can get by it rest up oh you don't have you can you gotta watch that propeller It's going pretty smooth. We're we'll have to get some blocks to set it on. Yeah. That's, That's gonna look pretty long. long. Don't let them drop oh. it. Yeah, it looks big. Well, hopefully this fits better. Or fits good. Well, we gotta find a place to put this. Cause in the coming days. The project is to get it mount up on Alex's truck. But we gotta finish her truck. It gives us incentive now to finally finish it. Oh yeah, we're gonna finish it now. I guess we're gonna put it right here. I guess we could put those little LED lights on, on, the, on the Alex's truck on the side. Yeah, it'd look good. More, more little details that we seem to be adding onto the project. That thing looks big off that trailer. Yeah, just drive it in. Just turn, butt it, and you can set it right there. You gotta move the stuff first, it's kind of behind you. We gotta get some blocks so that we don't break that propeller. And I gotta put these mud flap thing holder down you got more back there no all right those blocks are not enough not enough this is our boarding technique we threw a tire with a rim under there now the propeller won't get broke this is going to be another project. Well, I went and got the steel earlier. 
It's uh, I'm pretty sure it's three and a half by three and a half square tubing. These are 20, 21 feet long. We're gonna cut it to length, but we just got two full tubes or pipe. Ah, two full squares. That's what I'm trying to say. And those will get welded on underneath. And that's what's gonna work with the sliding kit of that. But right now, me and Ferdy, we gotta readjust our sap holding, our main tank. It's settled over years of sitting there. And if we lost like a thousand gallons of storage because it's sitting at an angle. So we're gonna go over there and adjust that. And then I'll show you that too. The shop's right over there. And then we have a little road that comes over. And then all 11,000 taps come here. And then this is a 7,000 gallon tank, but maybe you can see it. It's going like this because the rear settled over a couple years of sitting here. So we're gonna um, drop the front a little and then maybe we'll have to pick up the back some too. We're not sure. And we also have this little tank right here, just in case we need extra storage. through all that it's like a big shovel get any closer there you can get pretty close to that tree you're like four inches we're trying to figure out the best way to lift this because we don't want to make a leak whoa whoa whoa, whoa. down you want to go more in the middle you can lift it though, down, forward, okay, a little more, up, oh that's gonna work, up, yeah, so what we're gonna do is um, knock away this lip, so that'll drop the front of it, and then, then we're gonna grab some 2 by 6s and we're gonna pick the tires up one side at a time, We'll put a two by six underneath the back so it kind of drops the front and picks up the rear to level it out because we put cement blocks in underneath the tires when we first put it here but it's over settled the last couple of years it's settled and you, you lose a couple hundred gallons with it leaning we've lost a thousand so far with close it close to yeah close to it because you don't go all the way to the top so so we're gonna straighten her out a little bit move on the hammer this is our cement lagger drill but uh, we put the jackhammer tip on it. And... Yeah, that was the hammer. Well, that ain't gonna work. What do you... The hammer don't work. No. Well, it does work. We're just gonna chip it away with that. So we picked it up a little more. We put a board under there just in case. It's actually not going too bad. I gotta get a grinder to cut that steel off in the middle. Yeah, just a grinder or something. He got both sides already hit out. You gotta just cut that steel off. We gotta jack it down as well. You actually have to pick the jacks up. Oh, uh, I guess we gotta, we gotta pick the jacks up. That's oh, smart ass. I wish the handle was not removed. Yeah, I'm sure we used it somewhere else. I'm I'm happier that it's not seized. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not seized. So. We haven't moved this thing in years. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think that's good. You're a couple inches up. We just got, I got done jacking that down. We're picking the jack up, whatever. Um, the way it's looking, it looks a lot more level now. It's like three inches down in the front. 
we don't want to go too much because we want it still to be sloped back a little bit so to make sure it always drains uh you don't want to go too, we were going to pick up the back but you don't want to go too high because our you pump want system the three inch pipe to have a slope as well so that yeah always drains. that one which i'll show you in a second our uh, releaser in there to make sure that always drains that goes into the tank and then we can just come here to open it it's a two section front and rear i'll let ferdy explain his releaser setup in here well it's something nothing uh, special but it works all right so it's a leader we got a fancy light a leader arable arable releaser uh this one is set and it's got two two horsepower well pumps in it so it does it can do up to 15,000 taps which we have 11,000 so obviously it's a little bit more than what we need but the next one down is only 10,000 and you do have those you do have the morning rushes sometimes where you do have both pumps running so you do have two pumps in the system here so you got a pipe coming up here uh, and that, we put a flow meter on both of them so this one right here is pump number one um, and they both run on auto you can do them all manually just to drain it out and stuff and uh, both of these have two horsepower weld pumps in them they're on the bottom here uh, I'm not sure if you can see it's iced up but they're in there um, and they come in from they come out from the bottom and that's how we got what was that five lines coming into this you can have more there are more ports there's four more ports that you could put on this but that's how that is they are coming to park the equipment we have the 84 and the alex's truck outside that way i could get in here and work on this i'm almost done putting the whole valve assembly together it's been an entire puzzle i didn't record any of it because all of its steel lines you can see like that and they go underneath they need a wrap in two of them went here and then underneath and then on this side and there it was just it's just a shit show the steel lines don't bend so you have to put it together loose and then i had to mount this bracket and then i could start tightening stuff up to make sure everything lined up and i just have to put this on with the two air hoses that i have tucked in right here and that's the last thing to put together here and then we have to have someone from massey come and connect the new solenoids to the computer they're parking them inside just so they're inside <laughs> all right that's uh all we're doing for today the chopper is almost done what's left on this roger is here today and he's done what he has to do nothing just put it back together it's all done close the panel up close it tomorrow morning and blow the radiator out some more yeah, and that's it yep. and then that'll be out tomorrow too um next project is alex's tank again yep. no next project is finishing the woods up but well, this is all back together. I guess I have to zip tie this up to the side. That's just for the blinkers and stuff. But it's all back together. Now they just got to come and hitch a computer up to it. Well, that was probably be it for this video. And that was it for today. Eventually, we'll get to that dealer.